What's going on you guys, Zach here. I just wanted to give a quick disclaimer before the video starts that this video actually was taken in January. So we do mention a couple of things, just keep in mind they were back in January. And once again, this video does have swearing in it, so if you are with family, just keep that in mind. We should have some good content coming for you this summer, so stay tuned and I really hope you guys like this video. What's going on you guys? Welcome back to Fat Guys Feasting and today we're at the luxurious downtown Andover D'Agostino's Deli. Deli. Yep. <laughs> 26 so so down now no cut down always going pull out wait 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 so today on our menu we have a wide selection of many things we got a couple breakfast sandwiches thankful to the staff who made the sandwiches they don't serve them all day but he's kind enough to make them for us we got a sausage egg and cheese and a bacon, and a bacon egg, and egg, and egg and cheese on a bagel for the staff we'd like to thank we'd like to thank Liv for the napkins who Liv. just ran out to the car yeah thank you Liv but today on our menu <laughs> we've also got a meatball sub and a chicken parm and a chicken sub. parb shub shub chicken Parb show. Chicken yeah. parb show. We also have two desserts. We have a whoopee, a chocolate chip whoopie pie. Dude, you have like a fucking stroke right now. I know. And a M and M cookie, which looked pretty good when we were in there. We're gonna start with the brec. We're gonna start with the breakfast sandwich right Let's now. Let's start with the breakfast sandwiches. Whoa, there's lots of bacon in here. Mmm, smells good. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of bacon. Andrew did mention that the bagels would be fresher in the mornings. Well, as the time you would get a breakfast sandwich. So, mm -hmm. but right now they're still pretty really good. good. Yeah. The yolk is good. Tasty egg. The meat quality of the bacon was pretty good. Overall, the, the bacon egg and cheese it's is a really good. It's a really good sandwich. And one of my friends come here for breakfast. And uh, I would like to shout out James Carroll, who always comes here for breakfast. We'd also like to shout out the multiple viewers who posted on our Insta story, telling us to go to Dag's. Oh, to suggest Dag's, yes. You should hurry up so we can try the sausage. I'm enjoying it. You may be asking, where are we filming? In front of the Yule Burger, you bunga. Now on to the, the sausage. sausage. Looks good. Yeah, it looks like this one's gonna be a lot better. Mm hmm. The sausage. That's really good. Mm hmm. Some nice, um, you can see some nice spices in there. In both of these, you can see the cross sections really yeah. well. It's not like messy. No grease for the sausage, actually. I don't know how you eat that so fast. Do you get like heartburn? No. So at Dagostino's Deli, I don't know if the sausage itself, but all, most of our, all of their cold cuts are actually imported from Italy. It's it's a, it's a deli. If you go in, there's lots of cold cuts, there's lots of meats. It's a nice little place too. That used to be a Dunkin' Donuts. And for the meatball sub and the chicken parm sub. Bingus. Their sauce is homemade. They make it there themselves. The Dagostinos. The Dagostinos. Hey, Dagostinos. The Dagostinos, the Italians. It's been sitting open. It smells good. That's really good with the cheese because they asked if we want cheese on it. And today was the specialty for meatball. Oh, yes. So, so it was, it was like a, do a dollar, dollar off. off. Yeah. Good meatball. Do you eat a lot of meatballs? Because a lot of meatballs that I eat, there's like sometimes there's like hard onions in it and stuff. Like there's a lot of filler in meatball, and this is pretty, it's a nice meatball. It is pretty good. It's a little bit spicy, like very mild, but it's like good. Oh! Great meatball. Honestly, better than, better than Bertucci's meatballs. I had Bertucci's last night. It wasn't too good. Bertucci's meatballs. I've never been a big fan of Bertucci's overall. Funny Bertucci story. Um, we went off to dinner in the summer with a couple of our friends, including Sean Bradshaw Glenn. Oh no. And Zach walks in, cause like, you weren't gonna come or something, and there was like, mm -hmm. there was no seats. And Zach just walks in and goes, Sean, you're balding, dude. Your head, <laughs> dude, like, where's your hair? Like, just starts like, shitting on Sean <laughs> for no reason. No. What was- That's what, not how it went. What was, what was your motive I behind that? I just remembered that? how it went. So what happened was, I thought we were going to the nines. So I drove to the nines and went in. Oh yeah. And nobody was at the nines. So then I, I drive over to Bertucci's and come in. Sean was at like soccer practice or something and he wasn't there. Mm -hmm. So I stole his seat and then he, he comes in later and his his spaghetti is cold. Yep. So he has just cold spaghetti, yeah, he has to sit by himself. And then right when he sits down, I go, dude, Sean, you're balding. He is not having a good time. Dude, everyone's <laughs> just like, everyone, everyone's just like, what? His hair was so far back. Shut up! <laughs> We're sorry, Bradshaw clan. We love you. Chicken parm time? Yeah. The chicken parm is my favorite sub from yeah. D'Agostino's, definitely. So going have into you had the I'm Italian? Biased. No. Because I haven't eaten it. Okay. But I, I figured these are two the, the two ones that most people would get. And then the Italian. Yeah. Okay. 
We got the chicken palm with the homemade sauce. It's always really good, so let's dig in. Chicken's fresh, nice. You definitely need to get this if you ever get it. It's, to a, it's a cutlet chicken. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think in the sauce is a little bit of meat. It might be. But I think you were right, the meatball was spicy, not the yeah. sauce. Because this isn't spicy. Yeah, no. But this is phenomenal. But yeah. This is a gorgeous sub. The chicken even is just really good because it's, it's, it has a nice juicy... It's so soft. But this reminds me of closest to of how Wendy's was. Like the chicken itself, McDonald's. Oh yeah, no, sorry, 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 sorry. That's what I meant because it's like it's like more fresh and it's juicy. Yeah. What anime are you watching? Fine, I admit it. I watch anime now. Uh, I just finished season one of Tokyo Ghoul. You're giving me the ghoul eye in the edit. It's a red eye. I'm gonna have you say this, but no, not, you're, do, you're not doing it. Happen. No, 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 no. My fucking Pokemon booster, my six elite trainer boxes. Haven't come yet. They got lost in transit. I want them. I want my Zards, man. I want my Zards. What would be your strategy for a zombie apocalypse? Get a big tank with all like spikes How are you on, the, get the tank? on the sides of it. How are you gonna get the tank? I'll steal it. Like GTA. <laughs> Five star. What would your like superpower be? Well, not quirk, just in general. I'd probably want like a, like a stop time thing, like <laughs> no. I'd want to stop time and reverse time. Go back. Here's my reason why I stop time. Do what you want with that. Like, you can do whatever you want. But reverse time, you can change things that have already happened in your life. So, for instance, I would have bought around 30,000 Bitcoin back in 2012. And right now, I'd be rich, yo. I'd be a rich man. So this is from... Oh, this is from Boston. Boston Baking. I guess it's a bakery in Boston that they get from. This looks so good. It's big. This chocolate chip boy pile is good, too. This thing is humongous. Humongous what? How do you make cookies like this? Like the big ones? No, it's just like, it doesn't feel like something you'd like just bake. This is insane. It's like too, like, cookie. It's like cookie dough. Like, how do you make Chips Ahoy? These are the questions we should be asking. Have you ever, you ever get ice cream truck ice creams? Mm hmm We get like the SpongeBob and the fucking eyeball was like <laughs> on its feet, like. Beans, what the fuck? Why were they never right? Like, <laughs> they were like falling off. No, like it would be like one up here and like one like, like how'd that even happen? My cookie was really good. What? I don't know what that was, that was so good though. Children can be killed. Where's the Spanish version? What the like? What is so, it? Let me go in the monorail. What a good thing though. Lamentengo por Is that what it says? Lament like, do you know that? Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. <laughs> The bacon, egg, and cheese wasn't as good as the sausage. Mm -hmm. It was still pretty good. I would give the bacon, egg, and cheese a 6.5. I was going to say a 7.5. Or a 7. A, a seven's more correct. I'm going to give the sausage an 8. Yeah, I'll, just, I'll be with you. So, for the bacon, egg, and cheese, a 7. It goes up one more point for the sausage. I feel like that just made it better. I don't know how, but... It just tasted better, I don't know. Yeah. Um, Next on meatball. our menu was the meatball. The meatball was not as good as the chicken parm once. Well, what? You think the meatball was better? No, no, no. Okay. Oh, were you agreeing with I was, me? They, I was saying, like, no, it wasn't. Uh, yeah. It wasn't as good. But I would give the meatball. I'm giving it an I, eight because really? I like meatballs. And that was really good. That was, those were really good meatballs. I would say it was a 7.5. Actually, was, do, for mine. do a little decimals in here 8.3. Hmm. I'll give it a 7.5. The sauce was so good on that. The yeah, it was a little spicy. It was a little I spicy, like which was really good. Um, so that's why I gave it a 7.5. Chicken parm, though. But I'm I'm giving this high, yeah. like high. I'm I'm giving this like nine. Yeah, mine's, maybe a little like. I was gonna do possibly 8.7. 8. I'm giving it a nine. 
just hitting nine. Actually, no, I'll go with you. I'll go at nine. So you want to give it a solid yeah. nine? Like a solid nine all around just yeah. because it's just so good. Everything just works so well on that. Every time. Every, that's like it's, at least my pretty 15th big too. sandwich of that too. Yeah. It's a very consistent sandwich. I think everything here is consistent. There's, n there's never been like, it's never like tasted a lot different than. Yeah. It's always been really good. So shout out to you guys for making shout it Shout out really to Dags. Good. The Dags now, workers. Now on to desserts. So, like surprisingly high rating here on the dessert. Yeah, the cookie was pretty good. It was big. It was nice. You're a big Whoopi fan. So imagine like a nice no. chocolate chip muffin, the top of it, and now imagine it with nice, what's that stuff called in the middle? Frosting? <laughs> uh, whoopee frosting? Sure, yeah, whoopee whoop, go bag. <laughs> whoopee was me, mashed me. up to go in the middle. <laughs> no, whoopee! <laughs> it's a nice fluffy. Fucking fluffy Igalagayas. Igalagayas? What's last Iglesias. name? Iglesias. Um, good cream, sugary. Good. <laughs> good. good. Tastes good in now, mouth. Now wait for this. Ready? Do you have an idea of what I'm gonna say? No. That was pretty high. Like, it's not like that high, but 8.8. 8. Cookie. Cookie. Oh, co <laughs> cookie good. <laughs> okay. Cookie, 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 pretty cookie, good. cookie pretty good. Cookie pretty good. Cookie 7.5. Cookie 8. <laughs> cookie 8. Right? <laughs> cookie 8. Cookie 8. But good rating. Uh, good bakery. From it's they thick. My, shout out to who they get from. Boston Baking. Yeah. But, but yeah, the cookie was good. It was thick. And it wasn't too hard. And it wasn't too soft either. <laughs> it was like 4 inches. That's that's big girls, right? Like the cookie. Yeah, it was like it was big. It was like 4 It was four inches. It seemed pretty big. Do you guys think that's big, right? Like, it was... We gotta rate the overall. We gotta rate the overall. I would give them a solid 8.4. Oh, I was saying 8.5. I'm right below you. Okay. The workers are great. The owners are great. A couple of my friends work here. Yeah, yeah. Everyone that works here is good. Everyone likes it's, it here. It's quick, too. Yeah, it is quick. It's a guys, must try if you're in Andover. You definitely gotta go here. Um, and we thank you all for watching this fabulous episode. Oh, fat guys! Fat guys feasting. feasting! We love you, support. We're very thankful. We love you. And we'll keep going. Go follow our Instagram, fat guys feasting on Instagram. Why did I say that twice? Go follow our Instagram on Instagram <laughs> for, for more updates and things of that nature. Thank you guys for watching. We'll talk to you later. Baby, no money. Baby, only modest water, lady, front of saw. Baby, make your favorite rapper look like shit. I'm sorry. Baby, always killing shit. I wonder if you saw. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I said I'm focused.